So what made a hairstyle a World War II hairstyle and not just another 1940s hairstyle? During World War II, governments used propaganda words like victory for the morale of soldiers and citizens. It appeared in propaganda, headlines, and advertisements in women's magazines for everything from hairpins to hairstyles. It's not subtle, but just putting the V shape in your hairstyle made you patriotic. A more subtle version used the Morse code for V, three dots and a dash. Or your hair could be formed into a V shape to show your support. There's that three dots and a dash again. These hairstyles weren't just for show, they were also utilitarian. Wartime work for women was filthy. Metal dust, machine lubricants, garden soil, spinning metal machinery. All of this surrounded the woman at work in World War II. In 1943, the War Manpower Commission asked Veronica Lake to change her hair for the war effort. She was known for her very long curls with a peekaboo bang, but a hairstyle like this was dangerous and cumbersome at work. Her hair was styled for this propaganda video in, you guessed it, more V shapes. For the women that were in uniformed positions, a tidy hairstyle that didn't fall past the collar was regulation. The Victory Bob was just the hairstyle for this. It appeared in many publications over the early 1940s and salons all over offered it on their services menu. It was a common name for a haircut that was about shoulder length when trimmed and then curled so the hair appeared short and smart. Even Lana Turner wore the Victory Bob. Then we have the Victory Roll which may not be what we think it is, but I'll get into that in a minute. The first use of the term victory roll was by fighter pilots in World War II. It was a spin maneuver performed after a successful mission. It also might be something you had with your dinner, but we're talking about hairstyles today. The roll hairstyle element we now call victory roll started before the war broke out, but it didn't have a name yet. Hair magazines from the late 1930s had examples of the sausage shaped rolls styled above the ear with an open curl facing forward. As we know it today, the Victory Roll hairstyle is a number of open front rolls, usually two or three, styled to sit above the ears and eyes. The hairstyle is both graphic and feminine and an unmistakable representation of a 1940s hairstyle. World War II pinup and actress Betty Grable famously wore them in the 1941 movie Moon Over Miami. Lately, I have been questioning though that what we call Victory Rolls today was the same as what the original Victory Roll hairstyle was during World War II. I have seen some evidence lately that a victory roll may actually have been something more like this. In the article that accompanied this hairstyle, they refer to it as a quote, V roll. And then a lovely blog follower sent me this ad from a beauty salon offering victory rolls and refers to it as a military hairstyle. As I mentioned before, the key element of a regulation military hairstyle was that it not hang past the collar. What does that have to do with big rolls on your head? And then I dug around and found this ad from a wig and hair switch company, and it lists victory rolls in with chignons and all around rolls. They could be referring to a hairpiece roll that you pin to the top of your head, but since it is within a list of other hair switches, women generally pinned around the back and behind the ears, I am still thinking that the victory roll might be a hairstyle element at the back of the head, not on the top. I'm still going to call these victory rolls, but I found this information interesting and I thought you might too. Thanks for watching.